Hi guys, today I want to share a motivational story that I love and I have come across several times and every time I just, oh yeah, I get reminded. It's a Brazilian story, you might have heard of it. It's called The Fisherman and the Businessman and it's a story that you just need to be reminded of every now and then. So now I am giving it to you, hopefully it can inspire you and maybe you know it, maybe you don't, but I hope you will enjoy it. So I'm going to read from the screen here and enjoy. So there was once a businessman who was sitting by the beach in a Brazilian village. As he sat there, he saw a Brazilian fisherman rowing a small boat towards the shore and he had caught quite a few fish. The fisherman, the businessman was impressed and asked the fisherman, how long did it take to catch all those fish? The fisherman replied, oh, just a short while. Then why don't you stay longer at the sea and catch even more? The fisherman was astonished. No, the businessman was astonished. Excuse me. And this is enough to feed my whole family, said the fisherman. The business, businessman then asked, so what do you do the rest of the day? This was early in the morning, right? And the fisherman replied, well, I usually wake up early in the morning, like today, go out to sea, catch, catch a few fish. Then I go back and I play with my children. And in the afternoon, I take a nap with my wife. And in the evening, we go out with my buddies in the village to have a drink, play guitar, sing and dance all through the night. The businessman offered a suggestion to the fisherman because he was smart, right? He said, I have a PhD in business management. I could help you become a more successful person. From now on, you should spend more time at the sea. Try to catch as many fish as possible. And then you can sell those fish and you can save up the money and you can buy an even bigger boat and catch even more fish. Soon you will be able to afford to buy more boats, set up your own company and your own production plan and create canned food and distribute it all to the country, to all over the country. And by then you'll probably have moved out of this village and go to Sao Paulo, where you can have your headquarters and you can manage all your other branches of your business that will come along. The fisherman continues. Hmm. And after that, the businessman, the businessman laughs and he says, well, after that, you can live like a king in your own house. And when the time is right, you can even go public with your company and sell your shares on the stock exchange. And then you will become really rich. And the fisherman, he asks, and after that, the businessman says, after that, you can finally retire and you can move to a house by a fishing village, wake up early in the morning, catch a few fish. Then you can return home and play with your kids and have a nap with your wife in the afternoon. And when the evening comes, you can go and join your friends, get a drink, play guitar and dance all through the night. And the fisherman was puzzled. Isn't that what I'm doing now? So I love this story and I hope you enjoyed it as well. There is lots to think about. Um, it touches on a few points. One of them being that maybe you're not so, um, you don't need to be so des desperate creating success uh, and big companies and, uh, and you know, just go for the big dollar signs. Maybe you're even better off just going with your passion and just living your life in the moment. And that is what I take from this story right now as well. And, so, and I might even return to the story and, and go deeper and get there are layers in this story, right? So it's a story to be shared and, and heard many times over. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And if, you're, if you are getting this information on some kind of social media platform, there should be a link where you can go read more about me and if not, you can just go to askmarilina.com and I hope to see you soon in another episode. Bye for now.
you for listening or watching this content. I hope it has brought you some value. I hope it's been inspiring or motivating or giving you some kind of new idea to maybe get out of a rut or maybe really go and crush it. Listen, I'm just an ex-computer programmer who uh, got into a car crash back in 2001 and it took me several years to get out of that. And during that time, I studied everything there was to study about spirituality and personal growth. And finally, I found my way to uh, finding my passion, and that is online marketing and online business building. To That's a platform that I really love to help inspire people to create the life and the freedom that they want in their life and build a legacy and impact the world for the better. Now, if you want to follow me on this journey, you can find me on social media or go to my blog askmarilina.com That's askmarilina.com And I hope to see you in another episode. Bye for now.